Hello, Pisces. It's your turn for your reading. I like to welcome you to Blue Flame Integration. My name is Lisa. I'm going to try and get this. Um, one of the things I got to do is really get down a good intro. <laughs> I've had my channel. By the way, two years in March will be my anniversary. This will be good for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, by the way. Also, um, I'm really tuned in today. I don't know about the rest of you, but that Pisces full moon got me. Whew. It's been a crazy week so far. Dreaming a lot again. But it's like um, the dreams that I'm having aren't bad dreams. I could tell it's transmuting things. Like I wake up in a good mood. I don't wake up like pissed off and freaked out. Like that's how I can tell the difference between negative energy and just stuff that the universe is releasing. It's like, I don't feel like I have to um, go jump in and take a freaking salt bath immediately. I've been getting a lot of rest too. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but that might be something that... Um, you guys noticed you needed a little bit more time for sleep and stuff like that. Or you're getting better rest. You're actually not anxious. Like, I feel like the anxiety from the past is actually releasing as well. Like, you know that you're still being watched. And you're not freaked out about it. You're more focused and concentrated on your work at this point. Either way... Yes, I do private readings. If this reading resonates, please hit the like, share, subscribe button. Pisces, I'd appreciate it. I'm in the Pisces mode right now. So, thoughts are kind of scattered. But, screw it. We're going to go with it. Because many of you guys... It's very well could be collected too. The Aries reading I did, if you um, are on the divine path, I suggest you check out the Aries reading because I feel like this whole month is going to be a story for the collective divine feminine, divine math, if you're divine. It very well could be an ongoing story theme as well. We're all connected. I really believe that there's going to be a brand new beginning coming up here. But the new moon in Aries, this is just closing and wrapping things up. That's why you're the Omega of the Zodiac. And you're going to be real clear. Like, I think many of you have been clear. That you needed to walk away from some immature energy. Very well could be a fire sign. You got some communication that was like less than desirable. Kind of cut you. It's too, um, right in your throat, like. Many of you could be having problems with speaking your truth, your throat chakra as well. I feel like you're being choked out every time or choked up every time you want to get out what you want to say. And this very well could be dark forces trying to stop you too. But you already, you see it. You already know. Pisces, like you guys are smart. Especially when it comes to spirit, spiritual things. Some of you might have had to leave somebody in the past because you, you knew. Universe revealed something to you and it cut like a knife. Like, that stung. Could have sent someone packing. Goodbye. Could have been a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. Um, in your right now position, you're being watched. Yeah, you already know this. It's very well could be you watching somebody too. Testing the waters. People coming forward to give you information. I really feel like that's the universe. This is your sort of truth. Cutting people out of the equation who don't deserve um, pure love. Ace of Cups. Pure emotion. That's brought to you by spirit, by the way. This... Reading is brought to you by spirit. My granddaddy was a Pisces, so. 
very hard worker, which many of you are as well. You guys have some like classic ideas. I'm not even kidding, Pisces. You guys have some classic ideas that you guys have been keeping showcased, sort of like under wraps because it's so out of the norm that you feel like you'd be left out in the cold with these other five pentacles here because people might not understand. But I'm telling you, if it was given to you by the universe, the universe will back that up. So step out into whatever it is that the universe is calling you to, especially if it has to do with work. It could very well look different, be different. But those who um, are meant to be in your life are going to come forward. Very well could be focusing on work too. Also, I had gotten something huge that had to do with the right now. Some of you are possibly are being watched at work. There could be um, a love thing going on at work too. You might have two children, a fire sign and an air sign child. But yeah, it's bringing it down to 3D. But um, somebody's watching, admiring somebody at work. Like, wow, aren't you cute? <laughs> Could have got truth about this right now, even more like. You could be falling in love with doing something too, as far as work as well. But there's this, this spies right here. So, you know, we're all being spied on if you're divine. Okay. Now, with this spy here and finding out the truth, straight across from that is the Five of Cups. If you found out about a third-party situation, which I don't see here. However, I do see spy and love at work. Either somebody, you're leaving somebody out in the cold or their energy just grosses you out and you're like, ill. And the reason I say this, you might be wanting to cut that out. Because it looks to me like um, anytime you feel this disgusting energy that you've sent away in the past, you're like jumping into um, a hot tub, a hot sauna. And you're like, uh, get this energy off of me. Like you guys can feel energy too. If you're any bit sensitive. It's glow up time. And you know that wearing this dark suit of being cloaked, in, I feel like a release of freedom here. Taking this off, stepping into the Two of Cups, realizing you want what? I'm free! And you just jump in to a nice hot salt bath. And I feel like shit's getting ricocheted. I'm not even kidding when I say this. If you closed yourself off, which this is very closed off. He has his arms across his chest. Closed off. There's a soulmate union back here. These three cups are spilled. I feel like you're going to be coming out of that this month. And wish fulfillments have popped to take place. You're going to have help. There very well could be a partnership coming in here. But this is your incoming energy, Pisces. You're leaving people out in the cold, sticking with your soulmate union, two of cups. You're glowing up. Also the major arcana for Aquarius. And then the nine of cups is you guys. Wish fulfillment. Emotional um, offers could be coming in on a silver platter as well. Your outcome. This is very interesting. Equal give and take. Virgo. We have a Virgo full moon coming up. I really feel like during this time when that full moon takes place, you're going to get the strength. To cut out the bullshit. You were diplomatic in the past. By the way, I really feel like this whole cycle started 
not even kidding. When the nodes were in, um, the south node was in Aquarius and the north node was in, um, yeah, Leo. 2016, 2017, yep. Then the node shifted into Cancer and Capricorn for this release. Something was not equal give and take. Someone has to be very diplomatic. Here's another spy card, by the way. I look at this, that flapping bird going around chirping and telling everybody everybody else's business. Card of Leo. You're clinging on to your strength. This King of Swords isn't even holding on to the sword. He's listening to the bird. That very well could represent spirit as well. Just let, like put it out there. You could be getting different ideas. Oh, I want to show you something. In the background, look at this. Butterflies. Right behind. Yeah. Transformation. Wearing a crown. Not even having to wield the sword. Just trusting his intuition. So you guys very well could be taking um, a very diplomatic pro approach as well. You very well could be dealing with, um, like I said, a, a Leo or possibly an air sign as well. But I feel like this is the nodes. This is a time frame you're going to be looking back on. And at the bottom of the deck that you don't see. Yeah. Stable home life. Because I don't feel like it's been very stable for you. Some of you might have had to make a decision about a third-party situation. Cut off a false flame. Just putting it out there. It wasn't very stable at all. Yeah. There's a king of uh, wands in the upright. Card of Leo. Could be any fire sign, though. I hate to just put it out there like that, but... And then right behind that, Three of Swords. You guys are healing from some stuff, too. I really feel like this is, March is going to be the month of purging, final purging, before Aries season. Because many of us are coming up. Oh, like I said, Aries season. And look what flips out. There's a Queen of Wands. There's a card for Aries. <laughs> oh, many of you, like, there's this stall right now. Any of you might be trucking out off on your own as well. Away from some harsh communication. Yeah. We have an Aries new moon. And the Aries season starts in at the end of March. Well, 21st of March. Right after your season. I feel like there's going to be some major chopping going on. You're going to find your tribe, too. And everything will begin and start anew. Get ready. Many of you, like I said, very well could be, like, feeling this gross, dark energy. And you're hurrying up and you're jumping in to, like, taking salt baths and doing some very spiritual work on yourself. Clearing out old negative energy. Yeah, there's the Five of Cups in your verse. This Five of Cups in the upright, I look like as only focused on this third party stuff. And the universe has these two cups right here. Very well could be two offers coming in. But you're not focused on that at this point. Because it was in the verse. Like I said, anytime you feel anybody's negative energy, it like wraps itself around you like a dirty cloak. And you're like jumping in the bathtub. Ugh. You're very sensitive right now, Pisces. Yeah. I I hear you there, sister and bro. I hear you. I feel that. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, Pisces. Okay. We're going to take them because they flipped out at night of one. <laughs> you wonder what? Aries had this too. Not... It was a not, you guys want to check out the Aries reading as well. Especially if you're a cusper of Aries. Or you have 
Jupiter or any of those planets in there, you might want to check out that reading because it feels kind of similar. But I know that they had the Knight of Horrors. You know what I call this fella. Right up here. Almost at the same spot, you guys. Well, at the very same spot. This guy came out twice. You guys know what this energy feels like. That in and out energy. There's another knight. And they had the knight of swords in the same spot too. By the way, let's just put that out there. Ooh, the tower in reverse. But this page of wands. Very well could have someone with Scorpio in your chart. And or this was in the past. You found out truth about a hoe bag. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Or an air sign. And or Scorpio that you had to walk away from. And then the King of Pentacles is in reverse right here. The Knight of Swords. Card of Taurus. Or any Earth sign, because I have to put that out there. A lot of kings. In. There's two knights now in your path. Yeah. This person was not stable. This person was cruel and rude with their words. This person was a whore and did not care how they hurt people. Your sign, oh, I just got something. Right now, the ruling planet of Aquarius is in Taurus. This is a king for Taurus, fixed energy. Someone very well could have Taurus heavy in their chart and air. If you're dealing with an Aquarius. Gemini as well. Knights are usually um, the mutable energy. They don't stick around long. Especially the, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords are the fastest moving knights on the deck. They come in and they go. They come in and they go. They're the hoovering motherfuckers. <laughs> Put it out there. Come in for a little piece of ass and out the door they go. Bring your back door, man. Just saying. And then you're like, what the fuck? I'm like, sorry, I can't offer you what you want. Bye. To that situation. Yeah. I think many of you see this shit for what it is now. The universe came in and showed you. Not to mention, then their energy was gross, too. Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? Ace of Wands. Told you. That Aries new moon coming in. And there's two more that flipped. Oh, Knight of Cups. Ace of Cups. You're manifesting something. This is you, Pisces. Mutable energy. Knight of Cups. A little bit more stable. Not the most stablest king of... Oh, there he is. King Cups. Okay. Well, all right then. He flipped up too. Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and then he ate of Pentacles with the King of Cups. Ooh. You have some stability coming in. In love, in money, in clarity. You're going to figure this out here coming up right now during your season. Yes, you are. You're very well could have a new love coming in. Yes, you could. Could be another water sign, by the way, that you're dealing with. Be very careful, though, Pisces. You might be offering yourself to somebody. You're going to need to take spiritual baths. This Aries new moon very well could reveal something to you. That you are a king on top of your shit and you're dealing with a page. All right. Five cups. If you don't understand this. Oh, yeah, temperance. This is getting balanced. If you don't understand this or what I'm saying. I'm sorry, but this is just the truth. Card of Sagittarius. This is another one. Knight of Wands. Right across from, yeah, you very well could be dealing with a, a Sag. Or that's what's coming in right now. Be very careful of that energy. Knight of Wands energy. 
Um, but I'm looking at this as balancing this five of cups. I feel a ricochet. As soon as you jump into that, that energy will ricochet right back on that person. I feel that heavy, especially if they're divine. And right underneath, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, right underneath that was this king of cups in reverse, which is right here. Um, this very well could unsettle you. Um, because you're in the upright. This king of cups here is coming in in the upright more focused on work somebody's you might be more focused on emotions and love and this page of swords air sign is more focused on passion you're dealing with any of those signs all right the star two of wands in reverse yeah you know <laughs> you know that look what looking back gets you now mm-hmm this could be a lesson that you're that's coming in to balance things out just to see if you learned your lesson. Somebody very well could be trying to um come back as you see that or looking back at the past. However, this was in reverse. You're like, there is no more looking back. That energy tries to come back, yeah. That's ricochet, bitch. <laughs> there you are, Pisces. I told you. Two cards for Pisces. Yep, somebody might think um, this is being stuck, and it does represent that, but it also represents being illuminated. Two cards are Pisces. Wish fulfillment. Whatever you've been thinking about, it's going to come to pass. I think that you needed to gain a new perspective on the past. Instead of being stuck on the transgressions of other people, even towards you, you're like, you know what? Being stuck on that old energy, being stuck on what that person did, hurt me, unbalanced, did it on purpose, didn't care. Guess what? The universe is like, here's a new perspective for you. I'm going to give it to you right now. Those past people didn't know any better. They're still stuck. You're, however, releasing yourself. Be joyful that I chose you, Pisces. Some Pisces are low vibrational. I'm not going to say that they're not. Some people, some Pisces are just stuck in materialism. I'm not saying that they're not. So, for you cross watchers out there, I understand. I saw it too. <laughs> Not all Pisces are ascended um, masters. Some of them are. Some of them are just plain unstable in their emotions and they shut it down. However, for my ascended Pisces, there's an equal give and take about to come in. With this Virgo full moon, this card for Virgo. And this all squares back to the nodes of fate when they were in Leo and Aquarius. Things got real weird during that time. I already know it. Tell me I'm wrong, Pisces. I already know this. 2016, 20, yeah, people really started waking up. Like I said, card of Virgo. Virgo. Yep, Virgo full moon. Guess what? One step at a time. You're going to see what was unfair, unbalanced. And get a gain, a new perspective. Take a leap of faith. Step out. Now, I didn't even look at these. Let's flip these over and see. What, oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Four cups in reverse. And the Wheel of Fortune. With these nodes of fate. Your money took a hit. As a result. Of this unfair, unbalanced situation. What's at the bottom of this deck? Yep, the lovers in reverse. This had... I could flip it around to the upright. You very well could have been dealing with a false twin. I'm just going to let you know. Wow. It's underneath that. Four of swords. Nine of swords. Queen of swords. Yeah, some of you were definitely dealing with a false twin.
some of you've been sitting on your ass and just kind of stuck for a while. No, no offense. I'm, I'm, I've been the same way here, but it's not just you. Trust me, this is going through the whole zodiac. Someone was definitely a false emperor. False divine masculine here. I'm just going to tell you. Very emotionally unavailable. And a mess with your wheel of fortune. Very well could be a Leo or an Aquarius you were dealing with. You're going to gain a new perspective here coming up in the month of March. You're like, sit back. You guys are the best at manifesting when you sit back and you watch people. <laughs> oh, my ear just popped. Yes, you are. You're going to see fake people come out of the woodwork. Your money is going to start jumping up, too, as soon as you take a leap of faith. Your days of sitting on your butt are soon over. Like I said, this Virgo full moon, you're going to see the unequality of relationships. And or you're going to realize somebody wasn't who they said they were. Somebody was not who they said they were or who you thought they were. Nope. And this is right underneath. Yeah, someone was really unemotionally available. And they did not want to do the work. They didn't do the work. Let's just put that out there. You had no choice. Some of it could have turned into a nightmare. I guess he was a lover's in reverse again cutting this out once and for all king of pentacles eight of swords like i said you're cutting it out once and for all you getting caught up in your head over this stuff instability done you're also gaining a new perspective on a possible leo here's your card also could represent cancer however this king of wands very well could be aries season two but however the kings i usually look at as oh the nodes of fate. You're going to gain a new perspective with this Virgo full moon. About a possible Leo. Two of Cups. Or is this a ten? Yep. Two of Cups. Third party situation. Queen of Swords. In reverse. A Pisces as the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Six of Cups. You're cutting off a soul tie. You're chopping somebody loose and you're allowing them to go. That was very toxic. Like I said, you had no choice in the matter. This person's been watching you, stalking you. You knew it. You felt it. And the universe coming in and say, you wonder what? You don't deserve that, Pisces. Yep, might feel a little unstable right now, but I'm telling you to walk away from this past situation. Walk away from it. One strike they're out at this point. You were stuck on that stuff for a while like I said you were stuck on it for a while knight of cups in reverse it stunted the seven of cups here there was some confusion as to why you were in a reverse state you're not confused about that no more mm -mm. four of pentacles the soulmate card in reverse Someone's emotionally unavailable, holding on to everything they have, their resources, all that shit. And then there's two cards for Pisces right underneath here. Yep. Then here's a page of cups. With the hanged man. Boomerang effect. Whoever um, was a child and done this is going to come back on them. They're going to regret it. They're going to regret it. They're going to regret cheating on Pisces. I'm just going to tell you right now. Here's a Knight of Wands with them. Yeah, because you guys are a very protected, beloved sign. You're walking away. They're going to be stuck in their own shit. And then the High Priest is here in reverse again. Oh my gosh. Don't let the confusion get to you. Don't let people sweet talk you, playing the fiddle, playing the flute. Mm. <sighs> I 
Queen of Pentacles, yeah, people are unstable right now. So you were aware, King of Swords is here as well. However, he's in the upright, that's good. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, you're okay, I think. If you're dealing with a Leo, I'm kind of like, yeah. You guys went through some tumultuous stuff, but I think that you guys are maneuvering and balancing it all out, and the universe is going to show you. Some things could still be a little confusing coming up, but I think you're going to get real clear, and you're going to come out victorious in the end. Pisces? Especially if you walked away from somebody and towered somebody. Because it closed the cycle. It's of these people thinking they can come in and manipulate you. It's not happening no more. As long as you close the cycle and you hightailed it out of there, the universe showed you what to do. New cycle's beginning. We're just wrapping up this old shit. I love you, Pisces. That's pretty much your reading for the months. So yeah, I get into your energy and it's like, I don't even pull light cards. <laughs> it's like, If you need a private reading, you need energy work, you need protective jewelry or anything like that, I make all that stuff. I have loose sage for sale. I have smudge, my own blend of smudge spray as well as oils. Is there anything else, universe? Because I'm kind of like, here. Hang on, Pisces. It's going to be a little bit of a bumpy ride. Hang tight. You guys are good. Just trust the universe and what the universe is doing at this point. If it's purging people and revealing the truth, let it do that. Like I said, if you need a private reading, you need a cord removal, you need um, release from somebody, let me know. I'm, I'm your girl for that. I love you. Take care. Mwah. Have a great uh, March. If you need any help, get at me. I love you. Bye-bye, Pisces.